welcome back. Okay, so today I decided to kind of play around with a bit of a grungy look. I've really been dying to do more grungy, kind of not so neat, not so precise eye looks. Just kind of like some blown out color with a smoky look to it and a pop on the lid. I've really, really been dying to do some looks like that. So this is my first one. Hopefully you guys like it. This one is just kind of like a green smoky eye. But I've been dying to play in some of my singles, specifically my JD Glow singles. Now, I did buy, you know, just a few of their beautiful, like, shimmer and galaxy type singles. And so I really, really wanted to dive into one of these since I was doing this look today. I'm like, perfect i can just pop one on the lid so today i played around with this one here which is unexpected and that is what's on my lid and in my inner corner i'm kind of spoiling the look because it's not really that much that i did but i'm really really happy with the way this look came out i also have on this really bold red lip <laughs> along with this grungy eye i kind of wanted to go green or black but i was like no you know what i'm gonna go ahead and do a red lip today so i did go ahead and use my lipstick from dj's unique boutique and this one is in the shade black cherry absolutely gorgeous okay i do have a link in my description box if you would like to check out her boutique she has a lot of good items for you to choose from but yeah this lipstick is from her boutique it is absolutely gorgeous as you can see beautiful beautiful shade but anyways I did create this look today using the Be Perfect Carnival palette. This is the Carnival XL, which is the second one that came out. I decided to go ahead and play around with my favorite palette, even though I'm a little irritated because I don't have my Carnival 3 yet. Maybe by the time I get this video up, I will have received it, but yeah, I still don't have my Carnival 3 palette yet, not even a delivery notification. So kind of irked about that, but I still love my Carnival XL. So <laughs> I went ahead and played with this today. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, I went in with the green, the black, you know, a little bit of brown. So if you'd like to see how I created this grungy smoky eye today, then stay tuned because it's coming up next. Okay, you guys, so I'm starting out by prepping my eyes with my e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer today. This is a pretty dry eyeshadow base, if you ask me. It is reminiscent of the MAC uh, Paint Pot. Now, I'm starting out this look going straight for the green, so I'm using the shade The Hype. This color is very, very bold, you guys. I mean, it is green nicely pigmented goes on very easily and blends out beautifully now as you can see i only went into the pan once have not gone back in have not dipped back in so i'm just blowing that out in my crease now to kind of soften the edges a bit i'm going to use a brown so i'm going into the shade hall and i'm just using a fluffy brush to gently blend out the edge of that green so it's not so harsh in my crease now I'm going into the black shade which is lights out taking another fluffy brush and just tapping that on the inner and the outer corners of this eye I want to kind of make sure it's very very smoky very grungy very messy not too neat and since I'm not familiar with doing these type of looks I'm just kind of playing it by ear you guys and <laughs> Because I'm not afraid of color, you guys know me, I'm just slapping it on my lid and we're just going to see what happens, okay? So I'm going back in with what's left on that green brush and blending out the edges. Now, of course, I said I wanted to use one of my JD Glow shadows today, so just swatching a few so I can decide which one I want to use. You guys see that beautifulness? Oh my goodness, these are so gorgeous. So I went ahead and decided to use the shade Unexpected, which is this gorgeous, I don't know what it is. It's like a mix of gold and silver and champagne. I would suggest using a glitter glue if you like. I didn't, I was so excited. I just went in on my lid with it. As you can see, it's extremely pigmented, absolutely gorgeous. But if you use a glitter glue, you know, you'll have more staying power and less fallout. 
Now I'm going back into that green and just using the fluffy brush to tap that on the edges of that shimmer shade. Just want to make sure that the green is very prevalent in this eye look. I don't want it to get lost with that black. And I think tapping it on the edges help to keep it, maintain the green look of this eye look. So now I'm just getting rid of that fallout, which it wasn't a whole lot, but you know, it's glitter. So I wanted to get rid of that. I'm doing a black eyeliner today and I'm not doing a wing or anything. As you can see, I'm just creating a nice thick line right above my lashes. And I'm really doing this because you guys know I'm not that great at lashes and so this helps me <laughs> to not have to be so precise with my lashes. So here we are. Went ahead and finished my complexion. So this is what we have for today. Now let's go ahead and jump back in for this lower lash line. I just used a black pencil liner today since I'm going kind of dark and smoky. I believe this is my Rimmel pencil, but everything is rubbed off so I can't read it anymore. Now to further smoke out my lower lash line, I'm going back into those two shades, the green and the black. Starting out with the black, just using kind of like a thicker pencil type brush and smudging out that lower lash line. I love smoky smudged out lower lash lines. I really do. It's just so, so pretty to me. And with a look like this, you really don't have to be that neat and precise, you know, going for this kind of like rough and ready type look. I really like that because I can just throw the color on and keep it pushing. So as you can see, I'm just kind of making the lower match the upper. And this is what it looks like when it is blended out together. Just kind of a nice radiant green look now I'm going back into that JD glow shade unexpected just spraying my brush a bit so I could tap some of this on the inner corner you don't have to add this bling in the inner corner if you don't want if you just want to leave it on the lid you can do that but of course I wanted to see what it would look like adding that inner corner pop and I really like it I think I really just love this shade <laughs> These JD Glow shadows are so pretty to me. And so this is what we have so far. Now, as you can see, I already put on my lipstick. I did use just one of my regular burgundy lip liners, but I also went in with my DJ's Unique Boutique Lipstick in the shade Black Cherry. Absolutely gorgeous. To set this face, I'm using my Milani Make It Last. I hadn't had this uh, setting spray for a long time. It used to be my favorite, so I got some more and I still really, really love it. So this is the look, you guys. Something very simple and easy, but it's really a bold look for it to be so easy to create. I love it. I wanna do some more looks like this. So you guys let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Toodles.